30 years, the family of a missing Malala woman wondered what happened to her after she disappeared in 1992. Tonight, they have some closure. The Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office in California says 45-year-old Patricia Skipple is the latest victim of the 1990s serial killer Keith Jefferson. He was also known as the Happy Face Killer. Foxwell's Connor McCarthy is here now in studio and tells us how investigators were able to identify Skipple's body three decades after it was found. Connor. Yeah, that's right, Pete. P Patricia Skipple was known as Patsy in her family. Her niece told me over the phone today that she was a gentle person who loved her family more than anything. They never knew what happened to Patsy until this week when detectives from San Jose knocked on their door. Since 1992, the search for missing Malala woman Patricia Patsy Skipple was cold. No one knew where she was and if she would come home. The following year, a woman's body was found in Gilroy, California, off a highway road. But the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office couldn't identify her as Patsy. Then in 2019, DNA Doe Project stepped in to help law enforcement. It did take some time for us to solve and was one of our more challenging cases. Karen Binder is the Director of Educational and Development. She says since 2019, her organization has been combing through genetic records to see if the body was in fact Patsy. What we were looking at in this case was common ancestor couples in Norway back in the 1700s and 1800s, and we were building back forward to find descendants of theirs that had moved to the United States. Last week, Binder and her team confirmed the match with one of Patsy's nephews that still lives in Oregon. Detectives from California visited that nephew and other family members to break the news in person. This confirmation also answered the question of what happened to her three decades ago. The Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office says Keith Jefferson sexually assaulted and killed Patsy while he was on his killing spree in the 90s. This is a victim of a violent crime, and I'm sure that that's not the outcome that the family was hoping for in this case. So it's also heartbreaking to know that while you're providing them the answers about what happened, you're also providing, you know, a story that, you know, should not have been the ending for this person. Jefferson has admitted to doing the same crime to seven other women in five different states. Two of his other victims were also from the Pacific Northwest. He was sentenced back in 1998 in Washington County for one of those murders. For Binder, she says DNA Doe Project will continue to bring life back to the cases that have gone cold and help families find answers that they've long waited for. The, the Does deserve to have their names back. They're humans. They have families. They have names. They have stories. And being part of that, allowing them to share their story from beyond is really important to our mission. And the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office will be holding a press conference tomorrow in San Jose with their lead investigator. Now for Je Jefferson, he's still sitting in Oregon State Penitentiary, serving multiple life sentences to murders he's already confessed to. Live in the studio, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon.